Hello everybody, it's Mickey with Mac Tutorials, and today we are going to be learning how to create a dreamy effect in a waterfall like or um stream type of thing in Pixelmator. So this is what we have today. Um this photo I got off a of big ash um flicker photo stream. Um it's a waterfall in Iceland, and we're gonna be learning how to do the dreamy effect here. And you can do this on a camera by picking a slow shutter speed but you would need a um, tripod or anything to keep it um, to keep it still um, and looking at this picture the sky is already overexposed by a ton so we're going to be learning how to um, fix that so I'm just going to open this pixelmator um, now if you didn't know how to do that Press F and it makes everything go away in just F. So you want to duplicate the layer, go up here to filter, go to blur, go to motion blur, and most waterfalls are 90 degrees because um, that's the way going up. And so just find what you think. You can do it a ton. I don't really, um, I don't really go for doing that a lot but um I just go a little bit press ok and then go here add layer mask I just inverted that and you press command I and that inverts it and makes it go black over here and you want to make sure you clicked on the black part Go to brushes. If you don't have your brushes showing, just go to view to uh, show brushes, but mine are showing. So, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure your foreground is white and your background is um, black, or else it won't work. And so you're just gonna pick the size of brush you want to use. This one's pretty good, and then you just go down and you just do this to the limit that you want to do it to and I'm kinda doing a really sloppy job right now so I apologize <laughs> but um you could like zoom in and edit this for hours and then get it to look really nice I did such a bad job. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. That is, I've never done that bad of a job. Anyway. Um, now you have that. And if you want to, you can go here and duplicate it again. Once you duplicate it, go to Filter, Blur, Motion. And since this one is straight... it's gonna move it sideways so you just wanna hold it and we're gonna do this little river right here so that one's kinda sideways okay that looks pretty good and um... add layer mask apple eye inverts it take your brush tool of choice that's really super big and then just go across I think the lower ones look really looks better I don't know why. It just looks more natural. I did it way too much on the waterfall, so I'm sorry for that. I I apologize in advance. Hmm. I need a tinier one. Okay, here we go. To get into here. But you could totally edit this for hours. And then you're going to want to do that again. Duplicate layer. But this time... This is where the really precise stuff comes in. You want to get it right here so it goes down a little bit. Goes. So now it should be going down a little bit more. Looks pretty good. Um, add layer mask. Apple eye. Makes it black. And then you just take your brush again.
and then you just go over that and it kind of um, blends together so that's pretty much how you do the dreamy effect now the way to um, try to redo the color um, just close that um, what you want to do is go here um, just have it clicked on go to image go to curves and here's where you have your colors now now everybody knows or well if this is your first time really actually using this everybody knows usually you use an S shape because that makes the exposure and stuff real nice and so you're just gonna pull this down a little bit and move this up so that that looks more looks more exposed a little bit better and remember you could just edit it and edit it and edit it for a long time and then that's pretty much it except <laughs> me messing up so bad on the waterfall Ooh, I'm sorry guys um, I promise I'll do better next time <laughs> anyway um, if you want to see all of it this without when we edited it then I will you can press shift and select all of them go to merge layers and I have all of them so this is what it looked like before or after we edit it and that made it go away sorry sorry guys I'm out of it um anyway it, it, it helped just trust me um so you just go and you edit your waterfall shot now and please subscribe and please um rate five stars and tell me in the comments guys if you want me to do any more tutorials if you like these kind of things um so yeah have a great day